on boys and girls with the new Premier League season now just around the corner and it's set to be a very big season for Leicester Football Club under Brendan Rodgers and of course with a new season you get a new kit so that being said boys and girls in today's video I'm going to be unboxing a new home kit for Leicester for the 2021 to 2022 Premier League season we'll go through the kit in all its detail and I'll be seeing it in the flesh for the first time so yeah boys without further ado let's get into today's video and let's unbox the Leicester home kit for the new season here we go Yes lads, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today boys and girls, we are back once again, not discussing transfers. Major shock. But for today, I'll be unboxing a new Leicester home kit for the up and coming season. The package has arrived and today I'll be seeing a new Leicester home kit in the flesh for the first time. You know, I'm pretty excited. Of course, we've already seen a new home kit in action in the final league game last season against Tottenham. Let's not speak about that game too much. But yeah, so without further ado, let's come straight into today's video and let's unbox this new home kit. Right then, package is in hand. Let's rip this apart and let's have a look at this home kit. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Here is and lads the new Leicester home kit for the new season and to be honest it is a pretty nice kit I'm not gonna lie to you guys I mean you know when I first saw it I was thinking you know it, it didn't look that, that nice but you know seeing in person now it is a very very nice kit Of course, the main difference on this Leicester kit for the new season, of course, is the new sponsorship deal. Of course, FBS Trade Online are now the new sponsor. Obviously, King Power has gone. Sad to see that goes. It's been on the kit for about 10 years now. But, of course, Leicester have brought in a new sponsor. And according to reports, this sponsorship is going to bring a lot more money in than, than the previous King Power sponsorship as well. So, you know, a step in the right direction. More money coming in. And, you know, potentially we've already spent some of that money on the, on the signs of Samare and Daka. I'm a massive fan of the slight pattern on the kit. You can't really see it from distance, but close up, there is a nice type of pattern just on the whole kit in general especially on that front it's a different type of blue checkered and you know it looks very very nice and as always Leicester have gone with the gold type of style as well with, with some gold on the sleeve as well and gold throughout the kit which you know looks very nice the gold and blue does suit as well you know that is our standard colours now you know it's another beautiful kit from Adidas one scheme you know I'm a massive fan of this kit if we move on to the back obviously it's quite plain no player on there as yet you know Pat Sindaka could be a potential shout but obviously we've got the LCFC just at the top you know pretty standard back line but the collar as well you can see the top of the collar as well with the gob overall you know the back is quite simple but I think you know that's looking standard and you know if you have a player on there it probably suits it quite nicely of course, we've gone with the Premier League badge on one sleeve and also the sleeve sponsor. I think we had several different options on the Premier League badge, an FA Cup one, a Europa League one. I think, you know, Europa League can just bin off at this round. Of course, the sleeve sponsor as well. I think, you know, looks quite nice. Another Thailand sponsor, and, you know, it suits the kit quite nicely as well. So overall, you know, I think that was probably the right decision from me. I think the best bit about this kit is definitely the V-neck, in my opinion. The gold, the white, the blue, all combining, looking very sexy. I think, you know, if you had a collar, I don't really think it's suited very nicely. You know, I don't really like wearing a collar top, but, you know, Another V-neck from Leicester and it does look very nice in my opinion. And, and yet again, the, the gold and blue just combines very well on the Leicester kits. And we can also see that pattern as well on the sleeves as well with the white, gold and blue just towards the bottom as well. You know, looking very smart. But overall, I think, you know, this kit, I'm a massive fan of it. And once again, Adidas have done a fantastic job once again with Leicester. I think from the images, it doesn't look that good. But in the flesh, honestly, boys, it is a very, very nice kit and looks very nice in the flesh. I'll see. It took us all surprised by, obviously, no King Power FPS this year. But overall, I think, you know, the sponsor ruins it slightly, but overall, it's still a very, very nice kit from Leicester. As we can see here from the Leicester website, it describes an authentic, unique design, which, you know, is definitely true. Obviously, the last few years, we have got some template designs, but this week, you know, it's slight difference. It obviously describes the kit as well, just with the gold and blue combining, you know, overall, a very nice kit. It's also the latest Adidas technology with the aero dry type of fit, which, you know, reduces sweat or whatever, but, you know, overall, that is the standard, really, on this Adidas kit. And it's also made 50% from recycled products, you know, fair place Leicester for that well you know environmental friendly or, or that but yeah overall the kit you know very nice and really excited to wear this and hopefully the boys can wear this you know win some more trophies next season so yeah lads make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions on Leicester's new kit in the comment section down below for me 
I'd give it a pretty good 8 out of 10 rating for me. You know, if you had a King Power logo, honestly, I will push it up to a 10 because honestly, I'm a massive fan of the kit and I'm really excited to wear it for next season. Obviously, for me, I'll definitely... I would recommend this kit, you know, 60 quid for an adult's top, you know, it's quite expensive, but overall, that's just the modern day price, and you know, overall, it's probably worth it, because you know, overall, it is a very, very nice kit. So, the boys and girls, that's it for today's video, of course, in today's video, we unbox the new Lest Home Kit for the up and coming season, a different type of video, I know it was, it's going to be a bit short, but yeah, overall, if you guys have enjoyed today's video, let me know by dropping a like, subscribe as well to the channel, if you guys haven't already, a massive thanks to 2,000 subscribers, we're now on the road to 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, and we keep going. A big season ahead for content. As always, just let me know thoughts and opinions on the kit in the comment section down below, boys and girls. Be having sports, and I'll see you guys very, very soon in the next video. Peace, guys.